sponsored by the Mike Morris Law Firm. 855 Mike wins. Jason Carr Live starts now. Wow, blew my eardrum out there. Yeah, maybe it was a little loud. Maybe it's just <laughs> my mic. Possibly. Hey, good morning. Welcome to a Wednesday hump day. Woo -hoo. Hump day. <laughs> Mike, what day is it? Hump day. Uh, edition of the 915-ish. Uh, Jason Carr Live, glad that you're with us. All uh, 700 and some odd people out there uh, in your bathrobes, in your pajamas still, maybe dressed for the day at having your second or third cup of joe. Uh, clothing optional, who knows? I mean, you're, if you're at home, yeah. I don't know what you do in the privacy of your home. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh boy. Um, there's going to be a tornado drill today, so please be, uh, that's not clothing optional. Uh, make sure that you're dressed if you go running outside, if you hear the sirens, well, when you hear the sirens. Uh, one o'clock. You know, normally we hear the sirens first Saturday of every month at one o'clock. Today it's a tornado drill, one o'clock. Um, oh, uh, clothing optional for the tornado drill, why not? Yeah. I make mean, make I society more interesting for a day. You're supposed to just, like, take cover in a bathtub, right? So, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Pigeon CPR. <laughs> Something I never thought I would see or say. That is a woman and a recently expired pigeon. He's <laughs> bleeding, pushing up the daisies. He shuffled off his mortal coil. Well, I mean, I, and, and from what I understand, you're, you're supposed to do hands-only CPR, <laughs> and she's she's literally just got her mouth right on top of that flying rat. See neck just drop at the end there. It's obviously dead. According to the student, the story did not have a happy ending. According to the student. OMG, just seen the same pigeon being eaten by a seagull. <laughs> Woman looks like she's blowing her nose. She's actually giving mouth-to-beak resuscitation mouth to of beak. a disease-riddled, recently expired pigeon. I could m not make this stuff up if I tried. Welcome to the interwebs, 2017. <laughs> Uh, there's video, yeah, no kidding, awkward, says Keith. She's going to get SARS, says Inez Johnson. Good morning. Day of Deborah Schweitzer. Good morning, Rhonda. Hey, Roberta, Marie, Darlene. Peaches, Tamika. <laughs> Tamika says, what the nasty... It's a good way to get bird flu. <laughs> I like the disembodied laugh from across the room. <laughs> Video of a rat scurrying around a Sacramento, California high school classroom is getting a lot of attention after a substitute teacher posted it on Facebook. Video shot by Veronica Luther inside JFK High School. You can see the rat running through the empty room before scurrying up the wall and sitting on a ledge. Luther said at one point the rat ran, rat ran toward her and she was scared it would bite her, so she reported it to school administrators who said they could only take extermination efforts so far. This is Sacramento, California. They sanitized the classroom and set up traps, but Luther says that's not enough. School officials said they can't put down rat poison because it poses a threat to the students. Rats in our schools. <laughs> rats, look at that. The and then this thing. is another famous rat, Rizzo. <laughs> hey, you guys. Rizzo, <laughs> yeah. He's got a piece of pizza there, a rat-sized piece of pizza. For us, if that was a true New York City rat, Rizzo's pizza slice would be the size of him. It would be Remember much Pizza larger. Rat? I remember the Muppets take New Manhattan, right? And uh, all, the, all the rats are sitting in the big coffee pot, and the one says, hey, the coffee's fine, come on in. Okay, here's, we already, we've been going less than 10 minutes. We've already got our first head-scratching comment of the day from Mike. Be nice if you stopped picking on people. You might get more views if you praise them. Mm. We, who did we pick on? I'm not sure. Uh, there was a woman with the rat. There was a tornado. We, it's, we've only been on for five minutes. I think he means among the commenters. I don't remember picking on anybody other than not saying good morning. Yet. <laughs> Rhonda, wait, what? Are you, um, disease? Why? Just why? Can we see the video again? Mm-hmm. 
of the lady and the bird. That is so crazy. You take it full? Oh, yeah. And then. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Come on! No way! <laughs> Seriously? Did you yeah, see that bird's head flop over? It's so. This I... is an X headed! <laughs> there's so many pigeons. I mean, there's so many questions unanswered. Does this woman stop? For every bird she finds laying on the side of the you gotta road. You got to think this isn't the first time she's tried to do this. She seems <laughs> like an expert. <laughs> Jacob with the line of the day. You got to think this isn't the first time time that she's tried to do this. Yeah, Debbie probably flew into the window and broke its neck. Mm -hmm. The way the neck flops over, Debbie, I think you're onto something. Why this woman doesn't realize that? Unless, of course, it's an April, pool, April Fool's prank. Yeah. We are still in April. You never know. You never know. Sharon says, too much breath. She most likely blew his lungs out. <laughs> what do you think about that? Oh. Who is that guy? Oh, that's you, isn't it? Who did that? I did. Wow. Really? Oh, that that's great. Let's uh, let's zoom in on it. No. Nah. Huh? No, no okay. i got to keep it under wraps. Yeah. <laughs> Self-caricature not ready for prime time. Uh, a man is, a, uh, I'm sorry, a man. A dog is a man's best friend, but the friendship between canines is a bit more complicated. A Chinese dog owner asked her two pets who had made a mess on the kitchen floor, and the one was quick to point its paw at the other. He did it. Definitely him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dog's a snitch. You, your eyes give you away. <laughs> Which one of you made the mess? It was him. <laughs> oh. Dogs are smarter than humans, says Cinnamon. Well, yeah, if, I mean, a dog I don't think would try to give mouth to beak resuscitation. Um, we have rich and compelling stuff. Now this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Where is this? Uh, this this is in China. the The last video was posted by People's Daily uh, on their Twitter account, which is, I guess, a Chinese media outlet. Anyways, while I was searching through their Twitter account, I found they posted this video too, and I thought that's that is rich and compelling. And impressive. Interesting. How's the sinkhole, by the way? Uh, you know, it's it's loud. It's not really smelly as much anymore. It's loud. They're like working throughout the night. So you can like hear like loud banging. They said that'll probably go on for another month or so. Speaking of that, did you hear the uh, hear about that tennis match in Sarasota that was delayed a few minutes because of the raucous lovemaking by yes. the couple by the couple next door? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, from what I understand, someone was watching a video. Was that what it was? Yeah. Because I read up on it, and they they the the thing that I read said it was a couple with an open window next to the court. Oh. I saw the part about the the video theory, mm -hmm. but who goes to a tennis match and looks at? <laughs> One food stylist is taking toast to the next level with unicorn and mermaid inspired slices that are sure to make your jaw drop and your mouth water. Toast, toast, yeah, toast. Oh, oh my God! Do you know that song? Get up in the morning about six, 6 a.m. Have, have a little, little jelly, jelly, have, have a little, little jam. jam. <laughs> put, what is it? Uh, um, take a piece of bread, put it in a slot, push down the lever, and the wires get hot. I get toast. Yeah, toast. Haywood Banks, Michigan's own Haywood Banks. <laughs> Love the song Toast. If you have never heard Toast by Haywood Banks, he plays it on a toaster with a spoon. Mm -hmm. uh, it is well worth the YouTube search to look up Haywood Banks. Toast. 
So this mermaid toast, I guess she she mixes chlorophyll drops with uh, with cream cheese, and she can she can make it. What I didn't realize is that mermaids have been eating toast since uh, 1989. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> so good. Get to host. Yeah, toast! Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg says he sees augmented reality's future in the camera. Yesterday, Facebook kicked off its two-day annual developer conference in San Jose and introduced Facebook Spaces. It's a new virtual reality app for those with the Oculus ecosystem. It allows you to hang out and connect in an interactive virtual environment as if you're in the same room. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat. I guess. I mean, I, again, I don't have an Oculus, so I feel like I'm missing out. Up to four friends logged into their Facebook accounts can join a space where they're able to chat, draw, make video calls on Messenger, and take VR selfies. Draw? Yeah. Draw, you say? Like a self-caricature? Pretty neat. Hmm. What's the weather going to be like today? Uh, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't looked at that yet. Let's let's take a quick look. Hmm. Who's that? So which do you like better, that one or that one? Are they different? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get. I doubt you'd be able to zoom in on that. Oh, Jacob can do it. Here we go. Creep, creeping, you know? Real nice and slow. Creeping zoom. Who's that guy? You drew that. Yeah, it's, uh, I was going for a Spanish, Portuguese, world's most interesting man sort of thing, only younger. You succeeded. Do I look younger than I actually am? What do you think? I think I think it's a great likeness. I think we ought to use that on our Jason Carr Live graphic. Now we have three of us. <laughs> so ridiculous. Uh, perplexed beaver who accidentally herded 150 head of cattle across a farm in Can Canada last week has become an online sensation. You don't say. Yeah, you wonder how this happens. I mean, he just. I guess you just get into the front of the herd and they start following. Every time he moves, they move. It's weird. It's just weird. Really? Yeah, to ho host. Beavers herding cattle. How about that? Can you take it full? Mm hmm. <laughs> Laura Vanderworken wants to know how old I am. Christian heard toast on the Breakfast Club with Jim Harper every morning growing up. I, I remember hearing it on the radio back way back when. Jim Harper, my old buddy Jim. I haven't talked to him for a minute. You know, if you go to Mason's Bar and Grill in uh, Livonia, there at, uh, oh heck, I can never remember the cross. Is it Middle Belt in 96? Or Newburgh in 96? Mason's uh, Bar and Grill, great burger by the way. They have all kinds of old school stuff on the walls, including a WNIC Harper and Gannon black and white from like 1982. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jim's got on like a members only coat with like the sleeves rolled up. Yeah. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty epic. So beavers, hey, how about this? Leave it to beaver. Le leave it to beaver. Are you running an old Carson bit? What did the squirrel's will say about his coin collection? <laughs> For those who haven't heard, tell your other joke. Okay, uh, and it, it was funny because Jacob even said, like, oh, he's probably going to ask for the other joke. All right, so two fish are in a tank, and one says the other, you man the guns and I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> two fish in a 
in a tank. So good. It's so good. It's so bad. It's good. It's like dad jokes, and you're not even a dad. You're not mm -hmm. even married. Not nope. Already acquiring the dad sense of humor. Southeast corner of Farmington in '96, says Roberta. Hmm. I I was in the. Bob and Tom played a lot of Haywood Banks. They did indeed, Helen. They did indeed. The thing about Mason's is, is that that burger is fresh off the griddle. And what you have to do is, at least what I do is, I get the bun on the side. So you can wick some of that mm -hmm. delicious grease away from the bun before the bun sogifies. So if you play your cards right at Mason's, it's one of the best burgers in all the land. Kathy Genorolovich says that's her grandson's favorite joke. Really? Oh, nice. She's been listening long enough. <laughs> uh, the latest outreach campaign by two central Iowa police departments drawing some serious attention on social media using donuts, officers from the Ames Police Department and Iowa State Police share a message of respect. As they chop on donuts, the officers pledge to give away the sweet treats to those who do not disrespect, donut discriminate, donut harass, and donut hate. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. I'll take it uh, full screen and we'll, we'll unmute it. Oh, hi. For the people who told you donuts are delicious, comes another important message. We don't have any more spring campaign trees, but we do have donuts. And we're willing to share. If you promise to respect each other, that's right. Watch social media for events as they pop up the rest of the month to get free donuts from the police. All we ask is that you don't disrespect, don't discriminate, don't harass, and don't hate. It's simple. We're respecting each other. You don't want to make bad decisions. We'll give you free donuts. And cop donuts taste way better than regular donuts. Mmm. <laughs> Blueberry. That's <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. Uh, this guy here, he was really good in that Hangover movie. <laughs> also playing the bad guy in, uh, what was that? Uh, Wedding Crashers? Is that him? Bradley Cooper? Yeah, I think so. Isn't that Bradley Cooper? <laughs> no, it's a cop. <laughs> Dude kind of looks like Bradley Cooper, don't you think, Jake? A little bit. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Mmm, donut, says Melissa. I saw a funny joke on here somewhere. Tanya said, what do you get when you put your radio in the fridge? Cool music. <laughs> Kim, did you hear that? What do you get when you put your radio in the fridge? Cool music. <laughs> courtesy laugh. If that wasn't the, the very definition of a courtesy, she heard the punchline first. <laughs> it's half of this show. <laughs> Donut Stop the Love. Donut Girls in Memphis is awesome. Now I want donuts. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Me too. You too? Mm hmm. Dunkin' Donuts, though. Gotta be the Dunkin' Jelly, my all time favorite. You know, if you're raised on something, it becomes your favorite. Yeah. Like, do you have a. It's what you expect. Like,. I was such a connoisseur when I was a kid that, that don't bring me that post raisin bran. I need Kellogg's because there was a definite dif The post flakes were much larger and they were almost like plasticky. Mm -hmm. And the Kellogg's raisin bran flakes were smaller and flakier. Well, and then you're reading the back of the cereal box and just it, it's like in a different language. Did I show you, show you my uh, self? caricature here there, there's like method to the madness of why i'm doing this i was actually was requested of me it was requested of you yes. from the art department yes they want they wanted jacob show me your superior zoom skills here as we mike moore's law firm presents caricature corner i don't know i, th I think uh, there's some subtle improvements to be made here mm -hmm. i haven't done your caricature yet i can't wait I mean, I'm looking forward to it. If this wasn't me, who would you think it was a caricature of? Who's, who is that? Uh, Let's ask the viewers. <laughs> who, who, who else does this look like? Uh, <laughs> cool music, she said. 
You man the guns, I'll drive. <laughs> no, Jan, I didn't say Dunkin' Donuts are, are the best donuts. I just, well, maybe I did. But uh, my point was is that, that was, I was raised on Dunkin' Donuts until, sorry, until uh, not that long ago, I didn't even realize they were a product of Boston. Dunkin' Donuts is yeah. out of Boston. It's out of Boston. I, I thought they that. were a here thing. I didn't know. I mean, I knew they were everywhere, but. Now, have you been to Dilla? <clears throat> Dilla's Donuts. Yeah, I've had Dilla's Donuts. Yeah. Good. Those are good. I'm, see, my thing is I'm all hung up on one particular donut at Dunkin', which is just their, it's called jelly. Uh -huh. There's no flavor attached to it. They just call it jelly. Well, okay. it's actually apple raspberry is the, the flavor. And it's the, the jelly donuts with the granulated sugar on the outside, not the powdered sugar. Hey, I just had an idea. Look at, look at oh, this. Hello, look at that. <laughs> hello, hello. That's, I can tell you fun. were. <laughs> you guys were so gripped by my jelly donut story that you completely bailed on me and went to this. Hey, take a look at this. That's a giraffe. I don't see the little one. Apparently, the little one likes to sleep in the corner where it can't be seen. Oh. The little one does not like to be seen, camera shy. Well, yep. after all that attention, wouldn't you hide? Well, and I think the camera's only supposed to stay up for another couple of uh, days. Hi, actually. Patty. How's it going? But we do have uh, something that we might be able to use in the meantime. Because um, we're, we're going to... Well, no, we're going to be... You want to see me in my natural habitat? <laughs> You're looking at it. Um... No, I can't get this to come up as of right now. But this is, uh, we're still looking on the Will Ferrell cats. The Will Ferrell cats? They still exist? They're, they're still around. Oh, yeah. Cops and Donuts in Clara, Michigan are the best. Melissa Brown says, he, 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 I got quoted. I feel all special now. Hey, take a look at these cats. We got a couple of kittens. Meow. There they are, out of Vancouver. This is the Will Ferrell pregnant cats cam. Tiny kitten. Wait, Will Ferrell? No, well, they're feral, feral cats. cats. You know, like so right. They're Will Wild Ferrell cats. cats. <laughs> TV's Ken hey, lurking I, uh, about. I have a joke for you. Oh, oh yes. Where are you going, way? Jake? There we go. There we go um, what's the best thing about Switzerland? What is the best thing about Switzerland, Ken? I don't know, but their flag is a huge plus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. I was just in Switzerland 14 months ago. All I saw was that flag everywhere. I was in Switzerland for a full day, and it took me five minutes to realize I couldn't afford to be there. <laughs> <laughs> You know, on that new, um, that new Google Earth, have you seen that? I've, I've tried playing with it a little bit. It's, it's got a lot to be able to process, so the They take you on a little tour first. Mm -hmm. When you first log into it, they're like, hey, take our tour. So you go on the tour, and they take you. They zoom from outer space all the way in on the top of the Matterhorn. Okay. And then, like, spin around the Matterhorn. And Zermatt was actually the little town that we stayed in when we were there, the ski town. I was like, hey, 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 that's the Matterhorn. That's Zermatt. It's so cool when you've been somewhere. And you see it later on. And, and then you see it on Google Earth from, like, outer space. And then you zoom all the way down in on it. It's really sweet. It's worth checking out. Huge plus. <laughs> yeah. You guys are back up there again. Look at this cat right here. I'm not a cat person, but you know, there's uh, there's some cuteness going on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what are they? We got four of them. I, I think so. There might be. Five. There could be a fifth one under there. It's hard to tell. I think there's five. I think at least it's kind of hard to tell. Five. Juanita, my darling, you sure you love me? See, si, Senor Juanita says Friday they are taking April off the air. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You know what I was thinking, though? This summer is probably going to be the best summer the National Animal Safari Park has ever seen, you know? They're going to have people flying in from all over the world. Deanna Sears Perkins says, my daughter's favorite joke growing up was, what do you call a cow with no legs? 
ground beef. <laughs> 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 a cow with no legs, ground beef. Uh, Denise is asking if the baby giraffe was named. I believe it's supposed to be some sort of contest that they're going to be setting up soon. So not yet. You know, Cindy, I'll tell you exactly what you would do without me in the morning. Life goes on. If I evaporated in a thin air tomorrow, like at the end, I'm assuming you saw the Truman Show with Jim Carrey where they're all cheering on Truman to escape his artificial world, and he finally does. He walks out that door through that soundstage and shuts the door, you know, with the big wave. And everybody, the guy in the bathtub, the people at the bar, uh, people on the couch in the living room, it, it, the director shows all these different people across the land, like, cheering and going crazy, and, ah, he did it, he did it, he did it. And then it cuts to these two security guards in a booth, and he, one says to the other, Okay, now what's on? Let's see what else they, is on. They, they, <laughs> let's see what else is on. They all start reaching for the remote. That's what would happen if you didn't have me in the morning. I think I might. I would probably get a promotion if that were the case, right? I'd, huh? start to, I'd, I'd be the host. Huh? <laughs> and then if you evaporated in the thin air, and then Jake took over, mm -hmm. and then he evaporated, it would just keep going. But this show's never going to die. That's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> Hope says the pigeon died of morning breath. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Tiffany doesn't want up. me to evaporate. <laughs> uh, now we've got people saying good morning to each other on here, which is funny. Okay, here's, here's the pigeon again. Mmm, ground beef. Roberta says it wouldn't be the same. Hey, good morning. I'm on the air right now, yeah. You giving you giving the 10 cent tour? This is this is Pastor Bella. I want you to do because she's got a big event coming up the 22nd about to stop shooting. Just just walk in here and talk to Jason. Hello, Pastor. Forgive me for not giving up. That's okay. Uh, my campaign is high. Thou shall not kill. Uh, this is our campaign. Thou shall not kill. Yeah. God Let's said. Get a mic on you. Yeah. Oh boy, Big Randy's going to mic her up all uh, official well, here. Well, well, we went to uh, high school, but at different times from uh, Mackenzie High right. School. Well, you were there when they built Mackenzie. So oh my goodness, that's right. It was 1923. Right. <laughs> she was there when they were getting ready to tear Did you go to Mackenzie? Class of '72. Class of '79. I'm kidding. My dad was class of 67, I think it was. Oh, wow. Yeah. So okay. tell me about your project, and I got to go back to work. Okay, thank you. Is that what you call it? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. You guys are hilarious, yeah. Um, yeah, we've been around. Um, we, actually, uh, our campaign is uh, focused on Thou Shall Not Kill. It's mm -hmm. a message, and that's our mission, to get the message out. So we've been putting T-shirts. We've been in the schools with wristbands, with posters. Who's we? Tell everybody. The United Communities of America. Good afternoon. Good morning, Detroit, and everyone else. Pastor, yeah. where are you a pastor? I am a pastor at Always in Jesus Presence Ministries, located in Livonia okay. uh, at Cascades Banquet Facility. So let me let you interview me instead of just talking. Livonia. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about Mason's Bar and Grill over there having such a really good burger. Yeah, our church hasn't been to the bar and grill. <laughs> But you can go there and have a, have a burger. Have a burger. Yes, we can. A burger is not burger. forbidden. The burger is not forbidden. Cold ones, no. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great message, says Denise. Thank Thou you. Thou shall yeah. not kill. Yeah. So um, every 22nd, a lot of people don't know, is our initiative. Mayor Duggan has given us a proclamation declaring that that is a citywide day of peace and healing. And it's a day that we're trying to have no violence for 24 hours. And we've been pushing towards this in a lot of different initiatives. initiatives. Our biggest one is this Saturday, the 22nd. We have 46 billboards, 46 that will go up all over Metro Detroit that say, God said, thou shalt not kill. And we have uh, been able to get them sponsored. We have everyone from UAW, Rory Gamble, nice. Jimmy Suttles, um, Greater Grace Temple, Bishop Edgar Van, Third New Hope Pastor E.L. Branch. Funeral homes have purchased billboards that says, Thou shall not kill. Well, Can I you mean, believe that it? doesn't say it all, I don't know why. Yes, that. yes, yes. And so this Saturday, uh, you're going to see all over the city uh, billboards going up. And at 5 o'clock, there's a citywide billboard gathering and prayer that all of the sponsors are gathering groups at their own billboards at 5 o'clock for a citywide prayer and billboard dedication. All right, yeah, there you yeah, have it. So we're doing all we can. Uh, the violence is, is a, we call it a plague, and it is. how we're attacking yep. it, or this is our protest to say what God said against it, as well with all the other organizations that are trying to reduce violence. 
Pastor, thank you so much for everything you're doing. Thank you for allowing me to step in. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, Detroit. God bless and have a great day. God bless. Have a great day. What do we do with my microphone? Oh, you can just walk off over there and take it with me. Okay. Oh, here we go. So you never know what could happen on the JCL, sponsored by the Mike Morris Law Firm, which we appreciate. Um, Hope Hope Christian says thank you, Pastor. Just tell me real quick. The UCOA dot org. The UCOA dot org. You got to say the. The UCOA. UCOA, which is the acronym for United Communities of America. All right. Thank you so much. The UCOA dot org for those of you who are interested in learning more about Thou Shalt Not Kill. Uh, Roberta says, "Good message." Cop versus goose. Oh boy. Uh, You probably still don't have that from yesterday. It's it's in a folder. I just got to get it. Kim DeGiulio is on her way to the airport, apparently. <laughs> Yesterday was the 18th. Goose video. Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Here we go. This is an officer of the law on his way to work. He's already been attacked once and had his hair mussed. He thinks, you stay there, Goose. I've got a merce. <laughs> And then all. <laughs> he barely makes it out of there alive. And this was from the. Uh, this was right outside police headquarters. So th- this was all caught on the surveillance cameras that the police have outside of their building. So I'm sure he got back inside and had to deal with, you know. Get away from me, you stupid goose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, dirt art. Oh, yeah, that's right. We, we haven't done that one yet. Nikita Galyubev, a.k.a. Pro Boy Nick, has found a purpose and a way to create art from the bane of all existence with his ongoing series of masterpieces designed hashtag dirty car art. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. You know, I, I just have so much respect for any art form that is entirely temporary. That, like this is going to wash the, off. the uh, caricature that I drew. Well, yes, yeah. Um, I mean, if you had drawn it in the sand, you know, that, that would have been that would that have been, been a different deal. Um, but you know, this is just going to wash off. But it really is awfully detailed. That's really cool. I like that one a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Can we see those again? I missed the octopus one. There it is. Pro boy Nick. That's some that's some top notch stuff there. People are liking it too. <laughs> Roberta, you have a great day as well. Uh, Cindy, Linda, Debbie, Lisa Marie in Canada, Chanel, Hope, Patty, Tammy. Gary and Pam, Buffy O'Keefe, Livonia in the house, Paula Tutman. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I got to go do Live in the D in like three minutes, so I got to run. Stay classy, Detroit. Jason Carr Live was sponsored by the Mike Morse Law Firm, 855 Mike Wings.